Biswas and I'm a Forbes India 30 under 30 winner for B2B category. So I'm being awarded for heading product and marketing for Ognito, which is India's first voice AI for physicians. Keep hustling, keep dreaming because they do come true. Um, not, you know, when you look back, uh, the journey is not always going to be about highs and successes. There are going to be lots of days when you question everything. Uh, but if you have the discipline and the courage and the perseverance, you're going to make it through. vocal about this, I think the biggest risk I took um, was to drop out of my BTEC program from IIT Bombay and uh, I took that decision because I was so passionate about building products and you know uh, building these experiences for people and taking that risk really meant that you find your courage and you have this push and this fire to do even better and even greater things in life. It also allowed me to pursue things um, for the sake of knowledge and not just for, you know, a certificate. So that meant that I could a explore a lot of different fields in a very unconventional way, and two also go very deep in certain subjects like, you know, how do you design products? How do you understand what do people really want? So I would say that the risk has paid off since I'm standing here today. One, I would say, is read a lot. That, that never goes, you know, out of fashion in any way, even with all the tools that have come up. Um, it still helps if you are an avid reader and you are keeping up with everything that's happening in the industry. Um, two, I would say, always listen to your users and your customers. Um, as cliche as it sounds, customer obsession is what really drives innovation in any company. So as long as you know, you know how to reach out to your users and listen, like really listen to what they are looking for, you will find the right problems to solve and you would always stay ahead of the curve. Okay, so my answer would have been different honestly five years back versus now because everyone knows there has been so much of development in the last, you know, uh, two, three years. Um, my first and foremost, you know, advice to everyone is that AI is really like internet. I, I know it sounds like, you know, I'm simplifying things, but honestly, it's not like something crazy big and technical and complicated it's a medium it's a new piece of technology and you know i think over time it would become so ubiquitous that everyone is going to be using it and a lot of you are already using it in products without realizing that it is ai so my first and foremost advice would be that don't be scared of it don't think that it's too technical for you know anyone to get into it and um, the second thing would be that use the tools around you because honestly the fastest and the most efficient way of getting into this field is to really understand the tools that are available to be used and how to make the best out of it like i honestly think that uh, besides you know the researchers who are sitting in the big tech companies the people who are going to really make the most out of ai uh, today in business are the ones who would know how to use them to make and solve for you know problems so that's really my suggestion <laughs> <laughs>